my IBC tote that I'm using for rainwater collection already has a ball valve attached to the outlet. In some cases, you may get an IBC tote that doesn't have a ball valve attached. And in that case, this connection back here is what you're gonna have to connect to. So this connection back here coming straight off of the tank is a coarse thread. So you need to look for a coarse thread adapter and those are available on Amazon. So you'd have a coarse thread adapter that has a water valve attached to it that attaches up to a garden hose and that's the configuration you'd have if you didn't have this ball valve already. With this ball valve, there are two connection types that you can be used. It has a kind of quick disconnect connector with the two latches, one on either side, that could slip over here. It's kind of like what you see with um, fire hose connections. And it also has a two inch NPT fine thread there. And that's what you're gonna see very commonly. In order to make a connection from this ball valve using the threaded fittings, you're gonna need three pieces of hardware. So first you're gonna need a two inch threaded NPT fine connector to two inch pipe connector, PVC pipe connector. This is a very common connection. The next thing you're gonna need is a two inch coupler to a three quarter inch threaded coupler. Then you're gonna need a three quarter inch tapered thread to three quarter inch garden hose thread. And I'll show you how those go together here. This ball valve doesn't have a lot of thread on here, but it's just enough that you can use a standard two inch threaded to two inch PVC pipe connector. This is from the hardware store and it's got two inch NPT threads. This screws on fine and with a little bit of thread sealant, then it would make a good seal on there. Then we're gonna use this adapter here and we're gonna to have to cement this in with PVC cement. I'm just putting it into place right now to show you an example how it's all gonna to fit together. And then we're gonna use this brass three quarter inch fitting to three quarter inch hose connector. And this will screw in here. And then you can attach your hose on there and we already have the valve here. And then we're gonna squeeze these two things together. Okay, push, push, let me push. There we go, it's all the way in. Wipe off this excess on the inside of the adhesive. Turn the brass piece. Okay, you're gonna thread it in there, okay? I'm going to use a little bit of Teflon thread sealant to wrap this thread. I'm going to add the fitting that we just made and thread it on carefully so we're not cross-threading anything. And just to show you that Yes, there is water in the tank right now. Then we can attach our normal garden hose fitting. Boom, we're ready to go. We got the garden hose attached on here and we can start doing our watering. So with everything hooked up, I've turned on the valve and the tank is full of water and there are no signs of leaking anywhere, not even a drop. So. I think this is a great success.